Podcast Bites. There's a phenomenon called the multiples phenomenon where uh, two or more people uh, come up with the same idea, an invention or discovery, uh, uh, roughly the same time, but completely independently of each other. Okay. Um, it turns out that you can fit a probability model to that. It turns out primarily a chance phenomenon. And this is how it works. You have a bunch of people who all, who all basically learn the same thing. They develop a, a similar expertise. You know, they all go to graduate school and, um, you know, study, you know, physics or study um, engineering or whatever it happens to be. And so they have a pool of things in their head. And then they start generating combinations. And just by chance, you're going to have two or more people come up with the same idea at the same time. Okay. And in fact, it has, they almost have to come up with the same idea at the same time because the second one guy or gal communicates that idea, that preempts anybody else. For example, right now, I can, I can guarantee you that absolutely no one in the world is working on inventing the wheel because that <laughs> idea has already been disseminated. Everybody knows it's been invented already. OK, so everybody's working on combinations of ideas and you can actually that um, haven't been produced yet. And then as soon as it's communicated, then that terminates any other any further work on that particular problem. And what's interesting, for example, is as um, you look at the history of these multiples, um, because scientific communication has become more and more efficient, the uh, time lag between the first and last duplicate has gotten smaller and smaller and smaller. In fact, now it's almost in, almost instantaneous because people can post it online. They made a major discovery, they can post it online. And so it turns out it's a totally probabilistic phenomenon. Avocado, motherfucker.